All right, I have kind of a special ballistic test today. And what I'm doing today is very, very old ammunition versus very modern ammunition. Uh, this is Samson Ammunition 38 Special Plus P 125 grain. This is donated by Nepa Gun Talk. Uh, he sent me 250 rounds of this stuff and it was still sealed in the plastic, but it's very old. It's uh, manufactured in Israel. And we look at the lot number here, and what do we have? It says 62283. I believe that that is actually the manufacturer date uh, because it looks about to be that old. So 36 year old ammunition versus ammunition that was produced earlier this year. We'll see how it compares in a ballistic test. This ammunition is so old that it uh, has oxidized lead on the semi jacket at a hollow point. So as usual we're going to go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we're getting. And then we're going to go through the juggernaut box which contains four layers of denim followed by one and three quarter inch pack of bologna followed by um, one quarter inch medium density fiberboard just kind of simulates uh, ribs and into water jugs to catch that round so it'll be an interesting test and we're going to shoot it through the four inch barrel and the two inch barrel and see what kind of velocity numbers we're getting and we're going to see what it does to the ballistic box so let's get started with the test all right first up we're going to see what kind of velocity we get in a four inch barrel and a two inch barrel with the critical defense it's a little bit lighter bullet than the other one but it should still give us a good amount of comparison for foot pounds energy so We'll see how the critical defense. I'm only doing three rounds of each in this, but I'll do five rounds of each of the older ammunition because uh, I have a limited supply of this. But we'll see what kind of velocity we're getting with a four inch barrel. 100 critical defense, 110 plus P. 1027. 1033. 1001. Pretty decent velocity for a 30 special round. Now let's see what we get in a two inch barrel with that same Hornady ammunition. E82. E893. No read on that. But I'll take what we have. Now we'll see the how the um, Samsung ammunition compares. We'll see if it has uh, comparable energy numbers. We'll see how uh, consistent the velocity is on it. All right, 36-year-old ammunition. We'll do the Samsung 38 Special Plus P. Do the four-inch barrel. See what we get. Oop. I did not get a round of fire on that one. It landed on a round, so I'm going to wait here about a minute. Uh, we'll come back and we'll continue this test. All right, let's try again. See what we get with the four-inch barrel. No fire. I'm going to go single action because I think I can get a little bit of a harder uh, hammer strike single action. 1036. 1131. 1076. 1155. 1117. So, velocity is kind of all over the place. Um, however, some of those are pretty powerful for a 38 Special Plus P. That's pretty impressive. We'll try with the snub nose barrel, see if we can get to fire double action. If not, we'll have to switch to single action on this one as well. 1,006, So we're seeing that we're, we're still having an issue here with the consistency, and that's probably just the age of the ammunition. A little bit of deterioration going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the ballistic box and see what we get, but the, the, the question is, uh, 
you know, what are we going to get? And, and I'm going to do the test with the two inch barrels on both uh, rather than use the four inch barrel at all. I'm just using the four inch barrel just to get an idea of what kind of velocities we would get. But we're going to go through the ballistic box with the, with the uh, two inch snub nose barrel, see what we get. And as you saw there, we don't know if we're going to get a thousand feet per second or 800. So kind of a, a uh, we don't know what we're going to get. Uh, but the velocity with the critical defense, since it's a brand new ammunition, obviously a little bit better. So let's go through the ballistic box and see what we get. All right, we'll start with the critical defense uh, in the stub nose barrel. This round has always done very well for me. So this should give us a baseline of what to expect for good performing ammunition. Third to fourth jug, good damage to the baloney and all that. All right. Perfect centered hit. Uh, it didn't really do a whole lot to the baloney. Exit hole is uh, minimal, but we'll see what we got in water jugs. First jug, not a lot of damage. Jug two, we went straight through. Jug three, I can see the bullet and the plug in jug three. And we damaged jug four a little bit, so perfect as far as uh, penetration goes. Third to fourth jug, and it basically uh, damaged four, jug four. All right, and what we got today is not really that good a performance for the critical defense. And this happens to me about 20% of the time when I test this. Um, you know, about eight, eight times out of 10, it will expand beautifully, but there's just uh, two times out of 10 where it, it looks like this. It's happened multiple times in my testing. So, kind of not good today for the Hornady. Now let's move on to the old, the old Samson ammunition and see how that does. All right, here's the old Samson semi-jacketed hollow point. Very old ammunition. Let's see what we get. Ooh. I think we got one of the more powerful ones on that one. And oh yeah, pretty good damage to the baloney. First jug has a lot more damage than the critical defense. Completely damaged that jug. Two, there's more damage in jug two as well. Jug three, we have a hole we're leaking. It looks like we definitely have a, a hole in jug four. And I see a little tiny bit of damage in jug five and a dent out the back of jug four. So this definitely penetrated further. And it looks like we lost a lot of lead in fragmentation, probably because it's so old. Um, it looks like it just busted right off. So that's why we got a little bit better penetration because the diameter was smaller with that lead breaking off. That being said, I wouldn't want to be hit with that fragmenting old lead. Uh, pretty devastating round. All right, so my overall summary of this ammunition is the critical defense really didn't do very well today. That's where this old stuff did pretty well. Critical defense usually does better, um, but this right here, I mean, we totally fragmented the uh, lead, which would not be a good thing for the receiving end of it. However, it's not really ideal for what we're looking for. And the other thing to be said about it is the flash was just huge. It's like 357 magnum flash, so, you know, that would be kind of blinding and low light, as where something like critical defense is, is specifically designed to have, like, uh, less flash. So overall, which ammunition is better today? They both, I would say they both pretty pretty much even today, considering the fact that we did not get very good expansion with the uh, critical defense. Um, but this did okay. Um, would I, would I want to carry this for self-defense? I'd probably say no, I wouldn't. Um, but uh, the holes and stuff. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.